My name is Chris Stiles. I'm an independent UFO researcher, and I was invited here in Toronto to speak about the Shag Harbor incident, my research on it, and Stu called it Canada's Roswell, and he's not the first. Um, there's probably more differences and similarities, but I'm comfortable with that or any label. I'm the half-contributor co-author of two books about it. The first one was Dark Object, a mass market paperback published by Del Bantam of New York, which I co-wrote with Don Ledger, another Canadian investigator. And the last, the Canadian book, was Impact to Contact, which I did with Graham Sims. Why write a book at all? Why write one now, meaning in the last few years? It's because there was more research and a greater understanding of the case. And like I say, I think for anyone that believes it bothers to turn the page and read this, if you have any doubt that such things happen, that things go wrong, that things go bump in the night, that something that you can call an unidentified flying object actually comes down to the earth, crashes, control ditches, goes awry or whatever, I think it'd be difficult to read this book and say it doesn't happen. There is a UFO phenomena. I, I know this is not newsworthy to the, the party faithful here. There is a phenomena. It's worthy of scientific study and consideration. We should find the answer. I think the important thing is, you know, for those who are skeptical, for those who need to know, and I think we all need to know, are we alone? I think that question in the traditional sense and weight that Carl Sagan put on it, that we put on it, that the cavemen put on it, anybody, right? Because it defines who we are and our relationship with life, the universe, and everything else, right? And to me, it doesn't matter if the answer comes from SETI or it comes from the UFO phenomena, where it comes from, but we need the kind of evidence that convinces the harshest of skeptics. Now, even in Shag Harbor at the time, when people come out, one of the unique things about the case, nobody reported a UFO. The people came out and responded, it wasn't because they thought something was unusual. They were calling their neighbors. They were concerned about saving lives. This was the impetus, but when they come out and saw something they were unprepared for, when they're looking face to face with the unknown and they saw it, the RCMP officers saw it, you know, like it was still there. This is one of those great cases. It's still present. It's on the water. Some saw it in both the air and on the water. What are you looking at? You're, you're unprepared to deal with it. And it's almost analogous to when, you know, supposedly the ships like Columbus, when they first sailed in, a lot of natives looked at it. They weren't sure what, they never seen such a thing. What was it? They had to be told these were great ships. It was just that confusing, you couldn't deal with it. And in the case of Shag Harbor, the authorities told them days later, you know what you're saying, it was no aircraft, it wasn't a Sea King, it was, you know, nothing's missing or late. You saw a UFO, oh. And even though they were concerned, and even though that night people literally felt sick to their stomach, and yet despite that, life down there was difficult, it's harsh, people went home, made a sandwich, life goes on, how do you pay the power bill? So, you know, these things become secondary to many, right? But I think we're in a somewhat different world now, somewhat more enlightened world. But at the same time, it's also spawned apathy. You know, it, it's information overload. You're barraged all the time. Generations now have grown up that just assume it's there and whatever. So it's, it's diminished in terms of its importance. So I think things have to be presented in the right way. And sometimes you kind of have to hit people over the head with it, you know? Um, that was a big one. And uh, so it's not quite like yeah, Sagan put it where, you know, the minute this happens, everything will change. I think everything actually will change, but not everyone alone.